The regular season wraps up on the road this year at the Baylor Bears. The Red Raiders and Bears have met 79 times on the gridiron, each taking 39 games and tying once. It's been fairly even in recent years as Tech has won three of the last five, including a walk-off 24-23 win in 2020. Baylor was just 2-7 in Dave Aranda's first season at the head of the program, and it may be more of the same this year. Season starting quarterback Charlie Brewer elected to finish his college career at Utah, leaving the Bears with even less experience. Aranda's known as a defensive head coach, but the Bears finished seventh in scoring defense last season. Some are expecting a big jump from the Bears, but Texas Tech has a longer tenured head coach, more projected talent, and could be playing for more than just a moral victory in week 13. So beating the Bears won't be just a feel good way to end the season. It could have postseason or even Big 12 implications. Uh, we know who we are. And so, you know, you look at last year in the Zooms and just, you know, not really kind of knowing who guys are and what's the best way to teach and how do they learn. And uh, when adversity strikes, this is kind of what comes of it. And so having an idea of how all that is, uh, how all that works, I think we're able to, uh, to, to better connect. They're football junkies, and so they're, you know, when you're installing something or you put something in, they're already seeing, you know, how this complements um, something else. And then to be able to get on the field and talk that out now in, in the language that we're using, there's a high ceiling there.